Congratulations, David, on your selection into the Western Athletic Hall of Fame. It's great. Memories, boy, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Remembering. Our next inductee transferred to Missouri Western in the spring of 1983, made an immediate impact on the Griffin football team. Vince Thompson transferred from the University of Kansas, right away became a force on the defensive line, being named team captain for the 1983 team. In just two years, as a Griffin, he compiled 151 career tackles, 16 quarterback sacks, and led the team both years in tackles for loss. His outstanding play was recognized nationally as he was named a first-team uh, first NAIA All-American. Thompson also, had, also set examples to his teammates of the importance of weight training as he set the then program records for squat of 600 pounds and uh, power clean of 325 pounds. Vince also has the distinction of being the only Griffin to be drafted into professional football two different times. He's an eighth round selection by the USFL's Birmingham Stallions, but elected not to go. Then later that year became the first ever Griffin to be drafted by an NFL team as he was a seventh round selection of the Kansas City Chiefs. A 1985 graduate of MWSU, Thompson also holds a master's degree in advertising from Northwestern University and today is co-owner of Idea Stream Products, LLC. Vince and his wife, Susan, have two sons, Jack and Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, 2009 Missouri Western Hall of Fame member, Mr. Vince Thompson. I've had a recurring dream for about 25 years of coming back to Missouri Western. And I can tell you that uh, it had nothing to do with uh, uh, receiving an honor like this. Um, I'll tell you wh what the dream is, though. Uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to play in a football game. I'm all suited up. It's going to start right over at Spratt. And I'm so excited, and I can't find my helmet or my shoes. And this has been going on for 25 years. <laughs> so this is a much better... Uh, that's a better dream. It's, it's a reality. So, um, you know, it, it's uncomfortable to receive this. And I, I think uh, uh, Carl uh, mentioned that. And, and it's, it's a function of, of a whole lot of other people. There's so many people that are involved when, when a person, you know, um, is able to achieve things. And uh, I'm just going to throw out a couple things. In fact, I've got this down to two minutes and 59 seconds. So uh, if folks can just pop up when I, I point to them. Be acknowledged. I'd appreciate it because if you don't get up fast enough, then it's going to be you slowing it down. Um, so, you know, first of all, I came to Missouri Western in uh, my for my junior season, and I, I was put onto a, I was placed on a defensive line between two All Americans, and there was Steve Marley and Tim Booner. Tim, stand up, man. Okay, thank you. All right. Now. Not only were they all Americans, but they were also seniors and four-year players at Missouri Western. So teams were planning for them. Those guys were getting double teamed every time. And I usually had one guy blocking me. I never had more than one. And, and a lot of times it was a running back. Uh, there were times I, I distinctly recall when ball carriers would leap into my arms just so that they wouldn't get hit by, <laughs> by 10 feet. It's true. Look at the film. Um, you know, then my... My senior year, uh, I had the opportunity to play right next to Jim Sardo. Jim, the big technician at the left tackle position. Stand up, Big Jim. <laughs> big Jim. All right. Hey, teams had to account for him, too. And, you know, there was nothing more fun, Jim, than standing next to you by the ball, waiting for the offense to approach. They looked so uncomfortable looking at you. It, uh, it was good. So, you know, the man who had my back since um, our freshman year at the University of Kansas uh, is Andy Fenlon. Andy, stand up. Hey. Andy, I, I, I would, I bet there hasn't been a more destructive defender uh, wearing black and gold. Um, 
past or present than Andy. In fact, uh, my senior year, Andy was the MVP of, of the defense. And you had my vote, brother. You know what Andy's also done? Andy has written a book. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm about halfway through it. It's called The Final Gift. It's available on Amazon.com. <laughs> hey, you got to take care of the people who take care of you. Uh, you know, something, uh, uh, there's a, a group uh, in, on campus that, that has been very important to me, and that's the English department. You know, the ability to express myself in writing, uh, you know, creatively, uh, factually, and, and well, per persuasively, um, has just been so important, you know, in, uh, in business for me. And so I'm, I'm really thankful that uh, we have uh, Dr. Jane, uh, Jane Frick here from, uh, from the English department, and uh, Dr. Ken Rosenau is here as well. Thank you so much for coming and for all you do. I have, uh, I have family here. Uh, I've got my sisters, uh, Barbara, uh, and my sister, Marilee, are uh, standing, sorry about that, standing right, are sitting right next to each other. Uh, in fact, their, their husbands, uh, Jim Jackson and Rick Kelly, have, have made the trip on in as well. Uh, my sister, Virginia, is here with uh, her, her daughters. Two of her eight kids are here from Oklahoma, uh, Marie and, uh, and Hope. And uh, thank you so much for coming. I've got uh, two brothers here, too. Pete Thompson, you can stand. Somebody's got to stand up. Come on. Uh, and Dan Thompson. There you go. All right, two brothers. And, uh, and their lovely wives, uh, Bridget and, and Jane uh, Thompson. They're here. And, and everybody came a, re a really long way. And, and I so much appreciate that. Uh, the, uh, the, the greatest gift to me, the greatest gift imaginable, uh, is, uh, is my wife Susan and, and our two boys that, that are sitting there. One of them's even awake. <laughs> Thanks for that, Jack. Uh, Jack Thompson and Mike Thompson and, and Susan Thompson. Uh, we have uh, um, just a great family. And I'll tell you to my siblings, uh, you guys have been just amazingly encouraging to me over the years, um, supportive and loving. I could not have asked for for a better family to be a part of. And I love you guys so much, and I appreciate so much. And the fact that you're here just, just makes it that much better. And uh, we, have, we have a beautiful mother, and uh, Rosemary. And uh, she is back in St. Louis right now. Didn't make the tip, uh, trip with our, uh, our stepdad, Charlie Howard. Who we're, we're really thankful uh, for both of those. They just have done a lot for us. And then there's just a handful of other folks who, who are, are joining us today. I have a, a teammate, Eric, Eric Bruder. Sorry about that. Eric Bruder, right there. Uh, and uh, we have um, my, my business partner, uh, Tony DiCarlo, has made it in from Cleveland. Where are you, Tony? Back there. All right. And uh, I'd also like to, uh, to thank Jerry Partridge for, uh, for coming in as well. And uh, Jerry was a great teammate. He was a great safety, a great player to have on our defense. And, uh, and I'll tell you, we had a, at, uh, at one year, we had a defense that was, uh, it was just a force. We were uh, either first or second in the country, you know, depending on what week of the year it was. And... Uh, um, and Jerry was a part of that, and now we uh, really have to, to, to thank Jerry for all you're doing with the program. It is absolutely spectacular. I had notes, and I think I'm finished, uh, but I just wanted to make sure. If I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. Uh, this is an enormous honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Buying this copy, Vince? <laughs> Is that mine? Oh, all right, make sure. Oh. My favorite, my favorite. No, you've got it. Congratulations, Vince. Um, I observed while Vince was talking.